Series rules Billy v Unipola decision slammed as England back row avoids ban for, shocking, clear out. Insufficient force. The panel ruled that there was, insufficient force, due to the Bulls man only receiving a glancing blow from the 31-year-old. His red card was therefore downgraded, but it has left observers perplexed. The v Unipola hearing is another example that the disciplinary committees don't really know what they're doing. Journalist Dylan Jack wrote on X, formerly Twitter. A slipped-up seatbelt tackle can get you weeks on the sideline, but feel free to charge from inside your own half to clap a man in the head with your shoulder. Governing body the EPCR have a right to an appeal and some are concerned that match officials are being undermined. With the abuse of referees, especially on social media, continuing to increase, one person argued that a decision like this does not help give the referees the respect everyone so badly wants. If rugby seriously wants officials to be respected and values player safety, it needs to start backing these calls, one person wrote, before adding, I thought it was a harsh red but once the call is made you have to back the official's call. Others questioned the logic behind the call, despite the obvious illegality of Viunipola's action, with a Stormers fan writing, wait, so the conclusion is that he actually had to make damage first? Hanacombe was rather exposed. Anything truly significant would rule him out of the game maybe even the season. Application of the laws. There was also a debate over whether the laws were correctly applied by the panel, with the lack of force not listed as a mitigating factor. If there is, low force, that can constitute a yellow card but, considering the majority of V. Unipola's actions would be considered, high danger and therefore meeting the red card threshold. Most felt that he's fortunate to escape a suspension. Force is only one of the high degree of danger criteria, he ticks multiple others, one person wrote. V. Unipola follows teammate Owen Farrell in seeing a red card offence overturned after the fly half was sent off for England against Wales in a Rugby World Cup warm-up. World Rugby appealed that sanction and Farrell was eventually handed a four-match ban, but someone cheekily suggested, Seri's rules are different. Another added, shocking, I guess there are some teams and players that are above the law. Such a joke. The opposite view, defenders of the independent panel were few and far between but Hugo Gordon gave an interesting breakdown as to why he felt they came to the correct decision. Billy V. Unipola's red card overturned on the grounds of insufficient force. Don't always agree with these overturnings of red cards but I agree with this one, he wrote. The thing about this is, V. Unipola is hugely lucky here, because he is not remotely in control of this and could have caused huge damage had he fully connected. Technically this should be exactly what the game is trying to root out. But under current laws? Don't think it's a red. Reminds me of a Henshaw tackle a couple of years ago, against Ulster I think where he went in way too high and missed colliding with the head by about a centimeter? By letter of law, not a red. By spirit of game and what they're trying to protect against. Who boy was he lucky.